We've just gotten on our Halong Bay cruise ship and uh, walking down the hallway here, it looks like we found our, our room here. Yes, it's 204. Let me, uh, let me see if, any, if anybody is in there. Oh. Oh, Hello. and there's Tanya. Welcome to our state room. Oh, how what, great. It's What do you think so far? Wow. Wow. Wow, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Look here, we have it's a... It's huge. And it's huge. We have a, a nice, uh, you know, big tub. Should we decide to bathe? And, uh, you yeah, know, you've got the rest of the bathroom here. King size bed. Very nice. Very nice. This is Orchid Cruises, who did not sponsor this video in any way. All right, and here we are out on the... We have our own little balcony here. Okay, there's a lovely Tanya. Wow. Well, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. And here we are just motoring around in in Halong Bay. It's pretty cool. for a uh, full day of activity where apparently we're going out in a boat, going to some place, going to go bicycle riding, uh, swimming, maybe some kayaking. So it's a, it's a full day here in, uh, in Halong Bay. Tanya and I are wandering around this little village. They call it a fishing village, but uh, it is obviously uh, heavily uh, subsidized and influenced by the uh, uh, passengers from the cruise boats that come up Halong Bay. And then they'll they'll stop and you get off and you can ride your bicycle for five miles or so uh, up the road and then you come to this village. But you can see that it is it's rural, but it is nice houses. I mean, you know, there's no huts here or anything. Everything is nice and concrete. And there are several little restaurants around that they're, you know, eating places. And then they'll, each one features, um, they'll call them massage fish here. We call them, used to call them doctor fish. And the little fish will eat all the crud off of your, off of your toes. And here's some happy uh, tourists here that are, are having that done. 
Apparently there are about 250 people that live in this village. And what about, I don't know how many families it is, but uh, it used to be apparently very poor, uh, but uh, with obviously the support of the government and uh, massive amounts of tourists, it's uh, kind of a show place. It's, I would, I guess, and people do, do really live here, but they live they comfortably. Live very comfortably, yeah. I don't mean to say that they should live very poor in order for us to appreciate it and say, oh, well, we, we've really seen authentic uh, Vietnamese because they're living in, in huts and eating rice out of their pans. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, good for them that uh, uh, they were able to, to get to this point and be located in, in a place where they can take advantage to, of all the uh, tourist money that comes in here. So we're cruising beautiful Ha Long Bay right now. The only uh, criticism that I would have, or, or at least a, uh, a warning for people so they know what to expect, is that uh, there is, uh, for such a beautiful place, there is a lot of debris in the water. There are floating bottles and uh, just all sorts of man-made stuff. Uh, uh, portions of styrofoam fish boxes and milk containers, crates. I even saw a, uh, a life vest, orange life vest floating around yesterday. And you know, the thing is, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and for such a beautiful and unique place, uh, you would think, for all the cruise ships that are out here, uh, that they could organize some kind of a pickup detail that would at least go every day uh, along the route that the uh, cruise boats go and pick up this stuff. It wouldn't be that big of a deal because it really detracts from the, the rest of it. The only other thing is that uh, even though this is a beautiful place, the, the air is still, it's, it's very polluted. Um, it's not just morning mist. Uh, you could probably find some times of the year or day that it's uh, nice and blue, but but it is still uh, polluted. You get nice breezes and so forth, so you know, you're, you're not choking. But it, it's just not, it's not paradise. But it is beautiful and probably worth the trip. And speaking of being worth the trip, uh, this two-night, three-day uh, cruise, actually it's probably, you know, it's over three days, but it's probably a total of two days uh, plus two nights. It cost $900 for the two of us, which is outrageous. I, I mean, I think, I mean, that's, we're talking, you know, really luxury ship prices. The, the boat is very nice and you can get uh, cruise boats that are uh, uh, cheaper and, and you can get some that are much more expensive. This is more, I would say, a maybe a upper middle of the road uh, uh, boat. But for that much money, and certainly in terms of Vietnam prices, it's, uh, it's, I mean, you're really paying through the nose. Okay, did we pay it? Yes. Did we have a choice? Of course. Would we do it again? Mm, probably not. Uh, but, you know, we've been here and we've been here once before. So it's it's a beautiful, and at this stage in our lives, you know, there are a lot of other things to see. But it's a beautiful place and uh, I would encourage anybody to, to come here and, uh, yeah, you know, go ahead and um, if, if, if you can afford 900 bucks for a couple of nights, uh, yeah, okay, go ahead and do it. You can realize that you've been to uh, one of the nicest places in the world. But go ahead and look over here. You can see all this scuzz in the air. I mean, it just, if you're not that far from land, so I'm sure, you know, that has a lot to do with it, but uh, but it still just permeates this uh, this entire area. Mm -hmm. 